Reloading today. There isn't much else to do. Weather's kind of bad outside. So I got 100 308 cases. Just got a uh, polished, lube, resized, decapped, and I flared all the uh, primer pockets. Some of those were military brass. So when you have military brass, you've got to get in there and flare that primer pocket. Let's see if I can get that to uh, show in there. Yeah, you got to decrimp, uh, take that crimp out of there and flare it so it accept the new primer. So just finished all that up. And we're going to be reloading with H335, 150 grain, uh, full metal jacket, boat tail, hornady bullets there. And here's the press, RCBS single stage press. And uh, I'm going to be using some Dillon dies to do this. There's my Dillon dies. Dillon has a three die rifle set. You've got the left die there that does the uh, decapping and resizing. Center die. Uh, does the bullet seating and then the die on the right is a special crimp die and you would use that for semi-automatics Not so much for bolt actions, but semi-automatics do well. You need to crimp that bullet in place uh, so that the recoil doesn't jar uh, The ones in the magazine loose the bullets that are still yet unfired in the magazine of the gun So that's what that's for and uh, here we are just a short video today on my reloading bench and all of my various accessories that I've got out doing some reloading here on a weekend where we've got some bad weather moving through Texas Hurricane Harvey came through didn't affect uh, us too much here in San Antonio other than it's very slow and there's nothing else to do can't get much out on the roads because the roads are wet so I'm at home whiling away the Sunday afternoon doing some reloading all right uh, short video like and comment thanks for watching Video 2 in my uh, reloading series 308s. So what we've got here is all 100 cases upright and two reloading blocks here. So they're off the bench. And what we've done so far is we've reprimed them. So there is new primers in the back one of each one of these cases. So 100 new primers. And to do that, I use my RCBS handheld primer device. Pretty good. It allows you to squeeze them in there one at a time. Works good. Um, I have primed on the press. Use this little device right here. Raise it up and bring the shell down. That's okay too. But I find the uh, handheld primer, handheld primers, uh, this device to be a little quicker. So uh, that's video two. Stay tuned for charging with powder 335. Dialed in at 41 grains of powder. There's what H335 looks like. It meters exceptionally well when you throw it through one of these powder chargers. And so there it is in the powder form. And now we're going to come over here and fill all these cases up. And there's my little recipe. Always keep a recipe. H335 is a powder, 41 grains, 2.8 inches overall length, 150 grain full metal jacket bullet. Uh, that's what we intend to make these up. So there's the setup for right now. Let's go ahead and get these charged. Okay, video three, all charged up with powder, ready to go. And we got a little bit of an interesting conundrum with the seating here. Uh, the cartridge overall length is stated to be 2.80 and when you do that you see you don't quite get the bullet deep enough in the case there because the crimping cantilever is still outside of the, um, the mag case mount so it's not going to do any good to try to crimp that bullet into that cantilever because the cantilever is nowhere near the mouth of the case that's a 2.80 and what you have to do is seat it a little bit different seat a little bit uh, more this is 2.70. So 2.70 puts it perfect, that case mouth perfect, right at that case, that bullet cantilever, and it'll take a good crimp. And lo and behold, when you go to the Hornady manual and you look, there it is, 150 grain full metal jacket boat tail, cartridge overall length, COL 2.70. So they're not lying there. So even though you have a 2.80 cartridge overall length in general for the 308, if you're going to load that particular bullet, they recommend 2.7, and indeed, it works out that 2.7 does put you the bullet case, or I should say the casing, right at the bullet cantilever, and that will accept a good crimp. So uh, a little bit of wisdom there, word for the wise. Uh, you don't always go with just uh, the numbers in general for cases. Sometimes you have to improvise a little bit. Is that beautiful or what? 100 308s. All loaded up. 
ready to go. So uh, we like crimping them. Here's what I ended up loading. 150 grain, full metal jacket, full tail hornady, 308. So as I was saying, we like crimping, crimping them and cleaning them. There's the powder charger. I usually leave that set up while I'm seeding bullets, just in case I actually dump a case over. I can uh, quickly just recharge it. I'll go ahead and take it down now as I begin my crimping process. And of course, I keep my book out here so I can see what I'm doing. Well, it's a beautiful thing when it all finishes up, comes together. There's 100 rounds of 308. 150 grain Hornady Full Metal Jacket Boat Tail. 41 grains of H335. Mixed cases, uh, but 100, 100 rounds. And my reloading manual that I followed, some case blocks there empty. And there's the fun there. That's a 10 inch hardened plate. See some dimples in it. That's what happens when you shoot it at about 50 yards. Uh, it'll leave a couple of dimples in there. Uh, but if you put it out to about 200, 150, 200 yards, it just scratches the paint. But uh, we were playing with it the other day at 50 yards just to see what it would do. But um, having some fun. All right, so that's the end of this video series. Appreciate you watching. Thank you for all my subs up to 130. Appreciate that. 100,000 views, 100,000 plus views. That's pretty incredible for my little channel. Uh, so I appreciate all that. So like and comment and look forward to the next video. Thanks a bunch.